This is Twit. AMD previews new flagship GPU with HBM and 3X performance per watt improvements. One of the things that AMD has been getting hammered on for the last year, uh, certainly by NVIDIA marketing and, and in, the, in the benchmarks when we start taking a look at the performance of AMD cards, is the fact that they suck down a lot of wattage. Um, however, uh, just yesterday, uh, during the 2015 AMD Financial Analysis Day, CEO Dr. Lisa Liu discussed some of the details of the upcoming Enthusiast Radeon graphics process. And I think the big deal, uh, and you you were listening closely with keyboard in hand. They're talking about, a, they're not kidding, an actual tripling or a one-third the wattage for the same performance. I mean, are they, are they getting real about reducing power consumption on AMD GPUs? So what's interesting about this, this it's not so much on the... It depends on how you brand, how you name it GPU, right? So what HBM <laughs> is, okay. and this it's it's not a what the definition of is is argument because the GPU what HBM does is it brings memory off of the PCB and brings it onto the chip, not onto the GPU itself, not onto the same die as the GPU. It is on a in a silicon interposer, right? So basically, imagine you have like a wafer. And then on the left-hand side, you'll have the GPU. And on the right-hand side, you'll have memory. And now the proximity of that memory to the GPU means that it doesn't have to go very far. It can run at very high speeds. And it can mm -hmm. run at a very wide bandwidth without costing a lot of money in board design or additional complexity in chip design, right? So the, the power right. savings they're getting here are not on the GPU itself, but on the memory and the memory interface. Now, we, what oh, we don't know yet is... It's always been the case that a part of a GPU's power consumption is how much, how wide the memory bus is, how fast it's moving, and you know, moving memory around is a very power-intensive thing. Now, the GPU will still be moving memory around; it will just be moving it around faster, which in theory could lower the total overall power consumption of the GPU. But the HBM itself, the high bandwidth memory itself, will be able to run at extremely low power compared to GDDR5 memory, which is what the standard is today for AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. So their quote is, what do they say? Um, more than three times performance per watt compared to GDDR5. So if you think about it, if you, if you try to do some math, there have been papers that have put out about HBM. HBM is not an AMD creation. It is an industry creation. Uh, and the first generation of it, I think, is rated at about a thousand gigabytes per second, um, mm -hmm. bi-directional, right? So 500 each way, I think. And if you look at the current flagship graphics card from AMD, it is rated at 320 gigabytes per second. So you are more than tripling your amount of memory bandwidth. And if you assume that's at the same power envelope, then that would where that would be where you would get, you know, an increase in in memory efficiency. Right. Uh, but it right. does say you get more than 50% power savings versus GDR5 as well. So all that kind of will play into what the actual rated speed of the memory is when it starts shipping and then how much power savings you actually get. I, I, I think I think it will it will definitely improve AMD's situation in terms of how NVIDIA continues to develop very power efficient GPUs and AMD had gone the other direction for a couple of years, making more power hungry mm -hmm. GPUs. Now, what they could do is AMD could, if they want to, <laughs> choose to make the GPU more power hungry, knowing that it has more headroom to work with now that the memory is using less power. So maybe the GPU okay. itself will consume less power, but the total package, the graphics card itself, if you will, will consume about the same power. It's possible that it may, it may go that route. Um, and, you know, they didn't announce the product specifically here. They didn't give it a name. They didn't talk about anything else really than the HBM features of it. So we don't really know. You have no idea what clock speeds are. You have no idea what they're not talking about the total power efficiency of a GPU yet. But they did say uh, that it would be in the coming weeks, right? A several weeks, right. a handful of weeks. Those terminologies were used very frequently. So it's, it's looking like a Computex or a... Uh, E3 time frame release for whatever this new magical part appears to be. But it does look it does look very interesting. And uh, I, I think you'll see a HBM is, is the direction that high performance chips are going in. NVIDIA's talked about HBM being and then their next next generation GPU mm -hmm. past Maxwell. So NVIDIA will get there as well. AMD is going to be there first. 
maybe that they think they need to to remain competitive and stay competitive in in, in the market. So hopefully it works out for them and they put out a kick butt part for uh, enthusiasts to to buy up. That would make you very happy. That would make it all would. of us very happy. And it would yeah. keep the pressure on NVIDIA to keep their prices down, which would make uh -huh. even more people happy. 